Good morning and win forever. Thank you so much for teaming in this early morning. Now, I want just to respond on something that I'm seeing so much. There is a, 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 a bill that's coming up for church regulation in Kenya. Now, the bill is talking a lot about regulating, especially the summon of the clergy, the church, and uh, the preachers in Kenya, especially in the cities, major cities, uh, pastors with the influence and etc etc now i'm coming to weigh in into this because we spoke this that after 2022 elections it will not be business as usual i said it in the, an episode go down there i will pin the link down so that you can watch it it was in 2021 i did an episode about this before way before elections and then I spoke about this, that the coming government will really work against the church in some factors, major factors, that is, to regulate evangelism, regulate and limit the operations that we have. And the same, same men of God, bishops, apostles, and so many other people came up and went to talk about this and say, oh, the false prophets should now shut down <laughs> and they joined the wagon and they did the extra to just confirm otherwise now it's two years down the line you cannot hide the frustrations you can hide, you cannot hide the embarrassment the church is going through so me my own view even a way in they should keep quiet now they should not even be talk you are a bishop in kenya and you are complaining about harassment stop don't talk and that's why we talk about there is a need of the prophetic ministry to very much deeply get rooted in the nation of Kenya. Prophets should be given voice that they can echo the mind of God in this land of Kenya. Now, I don't have much to say, but I can see everywhere men of God are now complaining, oh, we elected the, the, the wrong government. We said it. And they did not listen. What do you think? Go to the comment section. If you revolt, <laughs> talk to me. In the comment section, talk to me. Let's, let's fight. Meanwhile, intercessors, you get to work. This is your time and it is your space that is still left. That we pray for the government, pray for the president, pray for the leaders. And not at least, but more of it, pray for the men of God the clergy, the church in general. See you in the next episode. My name is Timothy Profitable and this is Blevo, your favorite channel. If you have not subscribed, please do the subscription now.